from the Jack Singer Concert Hall in Calgary, Alberta, is the Vinyl Cafe with Stuart McLean. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, stop it. It was a biting spring day in April 1948. A small community in the west of Montreal, judiciously named Montreal West. Born to Andrew Thompson and Margaret Patricia McLean was the Canadian entertainment legend Stuart McLean. Montreal has become the greatest bicycle city in North America. Graduating from Sir George Williams University. Concordia University. It's actually Concordia University now. Ah, <sighs> yes. After graduating from what's now called Concordia University, Sir McLean would enter the world of radio as a researcher for the talk show Cross Country Cheka. Here I was, thinking he was an entertainer. And he certainly was. A legendary entertainer at that. Now hold on to that for a second. We're getting there. McLean would go on to work for the CBC radio show Sunday Morning Creating Documentaries. He's received the first of many accolades, an ACTRA award from the Alliance of Canadian Cinema, television, and radio artist from contributing to coverage of the Jonestown Massacre. There was a tragic loss of life, where 900 members of the California-based People's Temple Cult would engage in ritual suicide by consuming a fruit drink laced with cyanide. Also, the dark origin of the idiom drinking the Kool-Aid to refer to someone unquestionably following a person or ideology, usually ignoring logic and reason. Oh, the humanity! So, when I'm writing, uh, I, I'm always trying to take people to the place of laughter, but also to uh, the place where laughter meets tears. McLean would proceed to occasionally guest host and regularly contribute to the CBC weekday morning radio show, which was appropriately named Morningside. It's here that McLean would find his style, recounting the relatable stories he collected from folk he encountered across Canada. Taking a form of its own, 1994 would see the debut of the Vinyl Cafe as a summer segment on Morningside, before becoming its very own weekly program by 1997. Uh, kept pushing the idea and then eventually someone came along who said they would put it on the radio and away we went. The idea had um, percolated, enough. percolated in those five years and changed a bit so that I um, uh, had a better awareness of it. Written and hosted by McLean, the variety show would feature essays, music recorded from live concerts, stories from the lives of ordinary Canadians, and the beloved Dave and Morley segment. The Dave and Morley stories were fictional too written each week by McLean, centered around Dave, owner of a second-hand record store, and his wife, Morley. And they're joined by their children, Sam and Stephanie, along with a myriad of friends and neighbors. The aforementioned record store is appropriately named The Vinyl Cafe. The family uh, didn't exist for the first season, and, 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 the, and the character of the guy who owned the record store, was uh, he was a minor character in the first year. There were no major characters. I was guessing, I guess I was getting to know these people and I learned them as I wrote about them and Dave kind of elbowed his way to the front of the stage and, and then he acquired a house and when he acquired the house he acquired a family too and they, they just announced themselves uh, as, uh, as fiction at its best will do to the author. His famous bit has got to be the fishing trip, where Dave and his friends try their hand at a fishing competition. Come 1998, McLean and the Vinyl Cafe would hit the road and go on a live tour all over North America, to the delight of millions. McLean didn't stop in 98, however, and Vinyl Cafe's live performances continued every year for well over a decade. Jack Merriweather, who was building a ferro cement boat in his backyard and planning to sail it around the world and damned if he didn't do it. His wife Judy starting with him but bailing in Hawaii. <laughs> and Jack kept on going. Through the life of Stuart McLean and his radio show Final Cafe has reached many Canadian audiences far from home. The stories that he told on Vinyl Cafe allowed Canadians to connect back to their roots and feel at home. Even now, long after the show ended in 2016. Vinyl Cafe can be streamed on CBC Listen and on other platforms like Spotify. Stuart McLean has inspired many others to follow suit. Canadians creating their own uniquely made content and in turn increase the scope of Canada's entertainment landscape as a whole. <laughs>